Most of you know Steve Cardenas. He did replace the Red Ranger in the show. Well, it looks like he may be doing business with or signed with Galactic Productions. Okay. And if you guys don't know who Galactic Productions is, it is the booking agent who oversees Austin St. John's life or whatever in some capacity. Well, on the anniversary of JDF's passing, he had this to say about JDF. You know, after a year, you selfishly took your own life. Hundreds have followed suit in your name. This is also like a baseless claim. There has been so much smoke blown up your behind. You should be floating in the Thanksgiving Macy's parade. It must chap your backside that the Red Ranger floats each year instead of you. Frankly, I'm glad you're gone. I wish your castmates would speak the truth as I've dropped most of them and I don't care anymore. You were not nice. Okay, he put that out and rightfully so. There was a ton of backlash, ton of backlash. And his website, he had like for for all intents and purposes, he shut it down. It was down. But when you go on it, you see, hey, you see, hey, we're booking updated June 12th, 2024. And you're like, well, who are the clients? Because for the longest time, a lot of clients were backing out. They're like, we want no parts of this. Some people said they were contractually obligated, so they couldn't leave. Uh, there was a lot of discourse and some people said, hey, get me off your website. And then people start really taking a look at the business side of things. Well, Steve Cardenas was on the website before, but he did request his his name be taken off. But this website was recently updated. So what a fan did was they went up to him and said, hey, what what's going on, man? They, they clocked his ass. You know what I'm saying? They, they caught him slipping. And they they hot mic them and salute to this person for doing the dirty work of getting the story. There is a YouTuber named Henry Resilient who talks about the Power Rangers. And last night he was talking about you and something about you signing with Galactic and Zach McGinnis. All right. So he did the AI over the voice. I don't know why. I think he said he had to clean up the audio or something. Uh, but this is a real uh, this seems to be Steve Cardenas. Oh, yeah. I used to work with him, but I don't work with him anymore. Not anymore. I used to work with him, but I don't work with him anymore. He like, not anymore. Like, look, guys, when you start asking these follow up questions, it catches you so good. It, it catches them off guard because some people would just take the information and just scurry along. Oh, you don't work with him anymore? OK, cool. He like, not anymore. More. Well, Henry went on the Galactic Production website. They had you listed as a client, and I wanted to give you a heads up on that. <laughs> you see you see how we goes dig, bro you'd like to dig hey here's a fact hey henry put up the client list you were still on the website i want to give you a heads up on that here's his response people are always going to talk but they don't know all the facts it is what it is man now he didn't deny it. I mean, he said he didn't work with him, that that's fine. But we do have some other proof that there may be some business going on there. Right, right. I appreciate you telling me, but come on. Come on. Henry was discussing ASJ and him pleading guilty, then went on their website, and that's when they saw your information. Um, they probably just didn't update it. I'm, I don't care, man. Galactic <laughs> production. He said he look, you see how hey, they probably didn't update it. I don't care about it, but we know the website gets constantly updated, right? So this guy is just firing off, just fired just boom, boom, boom. This is a mini interrogation that takes place in under one minute. I was just, I was impressed. My boss would have been impressed. Like, oh, that was that was a that was a good interview. But there was one question he should have asked. We'll touch on that at the end. Updated the site a couple of days ago. Problem. All right, so thank you for the heads up, man. No problem. Uh, the follow up question should have been Can Zach Taylor McGinnis book for you? And that, you know, you stick to those yes or no questions, all that good stuff. But we do know it's not like they don't do business together. Because if you don't remember, this was this year. Uh, originally, it was not Austin St. John appearing. Oh, it was originally not Austin St. John appearing at Megacon. It was literally just 
the people you see minus Austin St. John. But what Austin St. John is doing now is he's using his celebrity to kind of crash booths. Hey, you had a vendor booth? Hey, man, can I, you know, can I, you know, can I, can I join the booth? We split the cost. And, you know, times, times, times are changing, guys. Before, these people would be guests of the convention, as in the convention is paying for everything. But when you had a vendor booth, hey, you, you, you fit in the bill for your own air flight. You fit in the bill for your own hotel. You're fitting the bill. You have to actually pay them to be at the con, which is, it's interesting. But hey, it is a, is, it is a um, backdoor way. Hey, vendor, promoters are going to take that money for the most part. But, the, you know, Galactic Productions have been banned uh, by several um, promoters. Um, a couple which I've had on the, the channel so far. Uh, but this is Zach Taylor McGinnis, I guess, making his comeback, you know, or uh, Steve Cardenas. Um, I, I don't know how you guys feel about it. Because the website was updated literally on the 12th. Like, if you go to the homepage, go to the homepage, it says, hey, updated on the 12th. And he kind of revamped the whole website. So I... <clears throat> I can't see Steve Cardenas not being on the client list and Zach Taylor McGinnis not being able to book him from somewhere. Now, granted, my speculation is chances are he's not signed to Galactic Productions. But if Galactic Productions say, hey, we got you booked for a weekend, $5,000, as long as I get my cut, you book. And shout out to uh, my man, uh, Chanzo. He says, I just saw Steve a couple of weeks ago in Chicago. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's true. Oh, no. Damn. Not our ranger. Damn. What red ranger do we have hope for? <laughs> what red ranger do we have hope for? He said, I just saw Steve a couple weeks ago in Chicago and his banner had Galactin production on it. Damn. 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 You see how it works? You, you never think that they would just lie to your face like that. Like, oh, I don't do business with him. Like, bro, <laughs> you got that banner, though, huh? You got that banner? <laughs> oh, it's just the banner, man. It don't mean nothing. Nah, nah, nah. Stop the cap. Damn, bro. And look, you, you have to remember, Steve Cardenas was cool with JDF. It was like real cool. I was literally just watching him uh, teach jujitsu. I know, right? I know it. Man. Hey, man, people have picked sides for the we exactly We were rooting for you, right? We were rooting for you. <laughs> what do you guys think of um, Steve Cardenas potentially doing business with Galactic Productions? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.